today we're going to look at Capricorn and Cancer sun sign compatibility. Remember, Remember that your astrological chart is more than just your sun sign. You have multiple planets and zodiac signs in your chart. I'll leave a link down below where you can search your full natal chart. If you like astrology like I do, please remember to like this video and let me know which couple you want to see next. Capricorn's planetary energy is Saturn. That brings out the disciplined part in Capricorn. They function best when they have a routine, and when they have goals, and they are also very good at micromanaging people, which makes them great leaders. The symbol of Capricorns is the goat. It's a goat that has a fish tail. Capricorns mythology is all about facing your fears. So the story goes that Capricorn lives in the ocean and it is the monster of the ocean. And his children keep going to the shore. When they go to the shore and touch the land, they transform into a full goat and they lose their fish tail. But they also lose their intelligence. So Capricorn Capricorn asked Cronus, the god of time, to push back time so that he could prevent his children from leaving to the shore. He did it over and over again and every time he tried, his children kept going to the land. So eventually he had to accept his fear, which is to live alone in the ocean. <sighs> Cancer is a nurturing and open-minded zodiac. They love having people around them and they get very attached to those that they love. So I mentioned that Capricorn's planetary energy is Saturn. For Cancer, it is the moon and the moon is a very nurturing planet. Cancer zodiacs have this mom vibe to them. <laughs> Shane Dawson, anyone? Now let's talk a bit about Cancer's mythology. So the Crab King lived in a pond and he lived with beautiful fairies. They lived very peacefully, however, one day the water fairies decided that they want to go to a party and leave the pond. So the Crab King followed them because he wanted to make sure that they are safe. And unfortunately, in the process, he got stepped on and crushed into tiny pieces. Oh. So, <laughs> the lesson of the story is that the crab is a protector and they have a hard shell, but they are very soft on the inside. Both mythologies have to do a lot with losing people that you love and trying to protect people that you love and that brings out this need in both Cancer and Capricorn for attachment and they want to find this person that will hopefully stay there for them. Now let's talk about the elements of these zodiacs. So Capricorn is the earth element and earthy types are driven by success. Cancer is water element and water elements are driven by emotion. So it's actually quite a good combination, especially because water nurtures earth and helps it become better. And water really is happy as long as their emotional needs are satisfied. Cancers are highly intuitive as well, especially when it comes to feelings. And because they're so good at feelings, they're also really good at manipulating them. Now let's talk about the mode of the zodiac. So both zodiacs are cardinal mode. This means that they come at the beginning of the season. So Capricorn is at the beginning of the winter and Cancer is at the beginning of the summer. Cardinal types are very motivated to start new projects and they're very excited by new ideas. They dive into things a lot without thinking them through and that is where the weakness comes in which is that that they don't always finish the things that they were hoping because they did not think things through. So they jump so fast into everything and they're so excited, but without a plan. So we need a plan. <laughs> Please like this video for more videos like this one. Follow me on Instagram. I'll leave it right here and I'll see you super, super soon.